Hi, and welcome to this episode of the Community Update. Today we're talking about the ETCS safety system and signals on the Luzerne Circe route. Let's get started. With our latest project, the Luzerne Circe route, we are introducing the ETCS safety system in the RHBE 523 EMU to Train Simulator 2. ETCS stands for European Train Control System and is a safety system used throughout Europe. It's meant to replace the many incompatible safety systems that are currently under use in Europe. Switzerland is a leading country using ETCS and they installed ETCS Level 1 Limited Supervision on almost every kilometer of their railwork network, except for a few high-speed lines, which are using Level 2. This allows them to have all the necessary information, like speed changes or signals, displayed on a single screen in the cab of the train. We knew that recreating ETCS in Train Sim World 2 would be a major challenge for us, because of the way that the simulation handles line speed and track length. Depending on the level, ETCS actively watches your current speed and calculates brake curves you have to follow towards the next signal or speed restriction. If you don't follow the curve closely enough, ETCS will give you an audible warning and if you still don't comply, it'll perform an emergency brake. A main part of the ETCS are the digital displays in the cab of the RHBE 523. These show exactly at what distance a speed restriction or signal is coming up and show you a braking curve animated around the digital speedometer. They let you know if you're speeding as well. In our recreation, you'll be able to see which mode you're in, and switch between them of course, the calculated brake curve, the distance toward the next speed change, and the current train length. On this route, ETCS works in a combination with the existing light signals, particularly the N and L type signals. Although we already had models for the L-type signals from the RHB routes, we had to remodel them quite a bit to match the SPB version. The newer N-type signals were recreated from scratch for this route. That was a brief overview of the ETCS and signals used on the Luzerne Circe route, coming to Train Sim World 2. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Cheers!